All right, hello, welcome to uh, Z Reviews slash uh, In Ear Fetish slash I'm Zeus Pantera slash hello. And um, so I did the Dunu Glacier a, like a, two weeks ago and I gave it to patrons. I know it's available if you want to see more of these videos that are not live yet. Patreon usually has one or two. In this case, it'll only be one because this one has to come out tomorrow. But um, someone was like, Dunu Glacier, you're doing the flagship Dunu and you haven't even done the Falcon Ultra yet? And I looked him right in the face and I said, the what? And then I looked it up and I went, a blue Dunu, do I have, I, I, I have it, I've had it. I, I I had to find this box with the, the greasy fingerprint that, oh my God, it's like looking into the future, this box. Anyway, so I had it. I had the Dunu Falcon Ultra, I've had it for a while, it's sitting on the shelf. Like all great things, it sits on a shelf. And I whip it out tonight and i'm like all right i'll give it i'll give it the initial listen we'll see if i want to do the review yet um and it happened to coincide and this is definitely a bias thing because i'm going to love this a little bit more than other ims due to this factor in a previous either i don't know if it was an im video or if it was a review video on the main channel but today tonight someone was like hey yeah know that um bonavar Bonivar, uh, Jaguar sessions that you said only exist on YouTube. Yeah, they actually released that in Flack. Only on their 10th anniversary of the Bonavar Bonavar album, which I found the Japanese pressing and completely legally bought, had shipped to me in like half an hour. And I listened to the whole thing. Songs that I have heard for years in YouTube only quality for the first time in Flack on Falcon Ultras. On I, I think I was using the uh, TA22 here, by the way, whipping this out again for old time's sakes. And uh, tears, just like emotional response. Here's the thing. If I didn't like the Ultras, because I had been listening to them for a bit before I did that whole sh thing, I would have been, oh, I, these songs have finished completely being imported to me from things. I will stop, not listen to it on IMs, on shitty IMs I don't recommend, and go listen to it on like, four thousand dollar speakers but i was here and i the first song came on it was like right doo, 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 and i was like all right this is good enough these ims are good enough to listen to something i've been looking for for years for the first time they, they took the virginity of bonivar so i don't know if, what that tells you about either my taste in music my weird brain how that works or these IMs, but there you go, there's a story. So I pull these off the wall, and I unpack it. It's a little tiny box. And considering these are like a $240 IM, hold on, I'm checking. Price matters the least. Except if you're trying to buy them, then price matters the most. $239.99. So it is a $240 IM. Um, single dynamic. And it claims all sorts of shit. Second generation Eclipse architecture with the all new lithium magnesium pure alloy dome and the fully independent soft suspension surround with the all new Klein blue finish. And I got to say, I'm taking on my ears for a second. They do look, oh, hold on, I'm going to wipe on my shirt. Don't look at them because you could see them real good. Before on the GoPro, you couldn't see real good, but oh my lords. Like with the, with the Louis Vuitton style, like lettering around just the edges. And then you got these two vent holes in the back and the blue is so. Oh, the only problem is they're MMCX. I can never give a 10 out of 10 to an MMCX IM. I just won't do it. I refuse. I refuse wholeheartedly to to, to give this connector like the praise it wants. Did I do it for the Glacier? No, I think I gave the Glacier a 9. I don't think I gave the Glacier a 10. Did I get the Glacier a 10? Fuck. Comes with Duno SS tips. I didn't even have to get these out of my little case. Comes with SS tips. Comes with a fuckload of SS tips. Comes with a fuckload of tips that are not SS tips. These, I think, are the candy tips. Comes with these little rings that act as seals for your two different nozzles. So, I either love or hate these. Sorry, I'm going to get the wife back up. Sorry. I know what you're all here for. When you change a nozzle, it can change everything about an IM. And the thing is, if I like a nozzle, and then I'm like, I don't like this nozzle, then why'd you give me two nozzles in the first place? But I actually do like both of these. 
The blue one is the clean, neutral, uh, detailed nozzle, and they claim the brass one, which is on there now, is the more fun, natural, like, fun? What the hell did they say? I don't think they said base boosted. I have to go, I gotta bring it back up. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Scrolling back down. Uh, control, vents, yeah, there you go. So stainless steel blue is transparent and clean, quick response, with the gold-plated brass, which I don't know why you need the gold plate brass, because it's not like it's making contact electrically. But it is a rich and soft, charming vocals, smoother sound. So can you guess which one I like? The quick response or the smoother sound? Fuck yeah, the smoother sound. Give me that fucking brass nozzle all goddamn day. They are very small. Like, they are compact. Like, that is a flat. Looks like someone crushed an IAM. But there's no reason for an IAM of a single dynamic to be bigger than this anyway. What are you doing wrong, everybody else? Like, here's the actual main chamber. It's maybe a centimeter high. And it just swings down. It gets really thin over here. And it's perfect for fitting in your ears. And despite as much as I hate MMCX, it does allow you to twist the wire oh so finely to make it fit, what the hell's happening here? Make it fit beautifully into your head hole. I call these, these aren't ears, these are head holes. So uh, I'm in the Audiolic AH90, which has just appeared on my desk for the first time today. And we're listening to, let's put on Ren and Stimpy Nose Goblins. And these have an impressive weight. I'm going to back up, try to get this camera. I'm trying to get the angle right. I fucked up four videos on the main channel because the angle was completely, like, wrong. I needed to focus here on the hands. Um, these have a weight to them. These sound like a 10-inch, you know, mid-bass driver. is just right here. Right here. I wouldn't say they're the, like, they're not a super bassy I am, but holy shit, do you, can you tell? Oh, Junky XL, Deadpool, maximum effort. Yeah, I understand why people are complaining that I hadn't done these before the Glacier. They're... They're cinematic in their delivery of sound. We are definitely getting... All the benefits you usually get of a single dynamic. It's cohesive. You don't have to worry about blending in a balanced armature with an electrostat with another dynamic and everything's sort of off kilter. And then it sounds like the treble's really close. So it's only like the bass is far away. Everything is coming from one area. Everything is coming through the, specifically the brass tubes and just massaging your ear balls. At $240, these are not like a bargain IEM. I mean, to some, that's a bargain. But to others, $240 is like, if I saved up the whole summer, I could blow $250 on an audio thing. This could be that thing. Because as far as, like, accessories it comes with, yeah, it's this tiny little box. But you've got one of the nicer Dunu cases. Like, it looks like carpeting from a movie theater. You've got the two nozzles, so you could actually count this as two IEMs. Just one slightly tweaked more towards being like a livable, clean sound, where this is more of the fun sound. You get your 3.5 millimeter right angle with a Dunu quarter inch adapter, which these are my absolute favorites. You get the little double finger bags in case you want to do... I don't know anyone who actually uses the double bag. Anybody in the comments actually put an individual IM per bag and then like zip it so they don't clank together? I, I feel like no one does that. You got all the tips in the world, although you're only ever going to use the Duno SSs, because once I went to this, that's basically it. And I just wanted to show this off. It doesn't come with this. This is an OKCSC OK adapter, and this is backwards what you'd want. But this would turn a MMCX cable into a two-pin cable. And it's just these little fucking things. They're like $20 a set. But let me tell you, if you have a really nice IM and you want to use your other cables on it, you can get this in either direction. That said, the actual, oops, sorry, wire is a super tight weave four. I'm trying to see where this is pointing so I know what I'm doing. Yeah, like right there. So I don't know if I love or hate the, uh, this, this is just a pull. Like it looks like it wants to be like a locking mechanism, but it's not. Uh, I could give or take a right angle. I'd probably love it. On, like a dongle DAC, I want it to go straight, 
But if I'm doing a dap, this is okay to sit and go sideways. On a desk, it makes it a little bit more, let's just say the word is interesting. But you get your tight four wire weave up to a split. Look, I don't have to take it off the IMs anymore. With your little slider into the two wire here. It's it's nice. It's nice. You're not getting shit. Um, currently, I got the LA90D because, yes, that speaker ramp without any resistor box can run IMs just Oh, I forgot how good you were, baby. You've been off my desk for a hot minute. Yeah, these are definitely like... How hard did you party last night? 12. 12 out of 10. I partied 12 out of 10. Oh, did you? And then what happened? And then I went, sat in my bathtub, threw some flower petals in it, lit some candles, and I chilled. I could do both those things. Because I'm the Dunu Falcon fucking Ultra. That is its... It's gift to society. It can be her, or it could be quiet her. It's like, ah, fuck it, destroy you. And then it's like, you know what? Just, just chill, blue. Think of blue metal. Think of tranquility. And then aggression, and then the John Wick soundtrack plays no matter where you are, what you're doing. It's the John Wick soundtrack. So I'd say that puts this in a realm of um, quite useful IEMs, actually. And I am of many hats. Caravan Palace. Skipping forward. That bass is just like it goes boom. Ba, ba, and it's just my whole chest. I feel it. I feel it down here in my chest. And then if I switch tracks again, epic score is not what we want. Perfect. House of the Dragon. The Silent Sisters. And it's all, you know, spirits and floating waves. And it's... It sounds like I'm at a spa now, but I'm in a haunted spa, and holy shit, these sound good. Yeah, these are, these are, fuck it. If they were an MMCX, they'd be close to a 10 for sound. If they were more expensive, I'd be like, this isn't enough accessories. So 250 or 240 is about right. Oh, by the way, comes with a cleaning rig, can't go wrong. Um, not hard to drive. At least not on desktop stuff. I do have a dongle DAC that I usually whip out to, to test things, but it seems to have gone missing. Not like I could ever find a dongle DAC ever in my house. God, it's just... it's just. Alright, here's music that I don't like. White Stripes Screwdriver from the vinyl rip of the White Stripes. And it definitely is not fixing my music. Because that's another thing that some IMs, some speakers, some headphones, take your bad music, no matter how shit the recording is, and make it better. It's not doing that, but I could probably listen to this. It's injecting some sort of energy that I'm not used to hearing in like this track. And it's just like, I want to bang my head. I want to... Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I could see... Fuck... Madoka Magica, There's some epic, like, murder sounds. If those of you who don't know Madoka Magica, it's almost as good as the, my other favorite Magical Girls show, Gushing Over Magical Girls. Utena, you my girl, girl. You my girl. Ooh. Shiguru. I actually watched this anime. It was brutal. S-H-I-G-U-R-U-I. This is track 14, and it's just traditional Japanese sounds. We got the fucking bamboo hitting, water splashing. We got bells. Perfectly holographic. Like, I'm I'm sitting on the, the stage where they're putting on this play, and I'm like, ooh. You know what? You bear witness to this right here. That track is now added to the sound demo playlist for what I test headphones and speakers. Oof. I, I don't. I mean, there's nothing I could say. I just want to sit here and listen. I just want to listen to the bells and the and the ball and the, the guy hitting the drum and it's like boom. God damn. These are these are IMs that make you say occasionally. God damn. Oh, Evil Dead. Three. Army of Darkness. Manly Men. Oh, da 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 Mm-hmm. I want you to hear the music I'm listening to, but unfortunately you can't. Those speakers are not hooked up right now. Th these are 
fucking good, and I'm a stupid idiot for not having reviewed them sooner. But if you think about it, I've reviewed uh, I am every two or three days since I switched to three days. So I'm just getting to it. I'm getting to it. I apologize for making you wait, and I'm getting to it. Um, I got to hook up some other amps on this table. I had the Rebel amp on it on the uh, 3.5, and that sounded fucking good. Another thing about uh, single dynamic is it tends to suck the flavor off of amplifiers a little better than using a um, a crossover in like a, a three-way or a four BA or something like that. I think I actually heard that plugging in. Whoa, loud. Yeah, I could actually, I could definitely tell the difference between these two and probably that and that. And if I switch heads, I can go back to that. Mob Psycho's playing. These are like an aggressively amazing. I don't want to compare them to Rinko. They don't have that level of bass. But they're like, if Rinko was more chill, how's that? A, a higher quality Rinko with more chill. The best, I, that's the best fucking thing is I can compare it to my own IEM. It's two and a half times the price, which is the thing, but that's what I'm comparing to. At least until Rinko 2 comes out, and yes, that's a real thing. Spoilers. Um, yeah, this is like Billy Joel, and we got the fucking, uh, what the fuck's the thing called that you, with the, with the little, bout, little that, that you hit on, the tambourine. The fucking tambourine going on. I could remember the name of that. The tambourine is, like, sharp, too, but it's not murderously sharp. It might be sharper on the blue tips, but not on these brass. You know what? I'm going to end this review so it actually... Maybe you watch it to the end, because I could just... Gravity Kills. Guilty. The uh, Youth's Blood Orchid, Orchid Sky Remix. Youth's Blood Orchid Sky Remix. Man, the 90s were cool. You don't get fucking remixes like that nowadays. Where's the Kesha remix to fucking by Youth Blood Orchard Sky? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop singing now. Taking these out of my ears. Take a good look at them. They probably appeared the least on any fucking IM review I've ever done. Oh, they really need to be clean. Like you could see every bit. Like I, like I just was just in my ear and look at it. Looks like I need to take it to a car wash. Whatever greases and oils are on there. So you know, new new camera is great. Except it's going to show all that shit off. But I'm just amazed at how thin and light. And yet they're, they actually have some weight to them. They've got some metal girth to them. Fantastic. Links to the desk mat. Wallpaper. Get your Falcon Ultras before they don't exist. Because I'm an idiot for not reviewing them sooner. Uh, I'll try to remember to link to all the amps. That's why we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And I usually pull that one out. So I guess I'll just add the uh, Wa Wall Oven Topaz also. Seven fucking amplifiers linked in the description. All the tips I usually like linked in the description. I'm only using with the SS tips because, fuck it, if you're a Duna, you're coming with SS tips, and I want you to use them. I wonder what rank, what render tips would do on these. I'll find that out after hours. Anyway, wallpaper in the wallpaper hoard. Every wallpaper all at once comes down all at once. Patreon, subscribe, so support this channel. Thank you. Share it. Uh, hit the subscribe button and shit. I don't usually do that, but do it. I don't know. Maybe something good will happen. Send it out to all your YouTuber friends. I'm sure you're all made your YouTuber friends are going to want to watch me. Because I'm this cool. Look how cool I am with my floaty camera and my brain and my super duper close-ups. How close can we get? Look how close can we get? We're really close. See, I can't whisper anymore because I set the microphones to low. And they're in mono. So it's doing this thing where it like, it doesn't hear. Anyway, I'm done, you're done, we're done. Ending this. Hope it filmed properly. I'll see you in three days. In the meantime, check out the unboxing channel and the regular channel and maybe even the second channel.